evening, oh, in case if you're watching this in the morning, good morning everybody, it is time once again for your favorite video game reviewer, and what am I reviewing this time? Well, you're about to find out. I figured since I reviewed a crappy game not too long ago, <coughs> Star Wars, I figured it was time to review a good game, a game that does not suck. So here we go. Now the game was developed by SEC Cambridge Studio and was published by Hasbro Interactive. And its distributors were Kwame. And that is why right, we are playing Frogger. Also known as Frogger, he's back. Which is a video game remake of the classic 1981 arcade game of the same name. Now, enjoy this nice little opening. Frogger, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta love them. Now this Frogger was released back in 1997 on the PlayStation, the Windows, it's also available on Game.com and Game Boy Color. Now the PlayStation got it here in the United States in 1997. Now there is a rumor going around, at least I, I think it's a rumor, I don't know, but this was the last Sega Mega Drive and Super NES games released in North America. So apparently there is a Frogger on the Super NES that's the, like this. I don't know if it's true or not. If you know, hey, let me know. I think it's a rumor, but I don't like to do that too much. Now, there were 38 levels in this game. 33 of those being single players, the rest all multiplayer levels. And of course, the levels you have Retro Zone, Lily Pad Zone, Leaf Zone, the Machine Zone, which is annoying, uh, Cave Zone, Cloud, Sewer Zone, Cactus Zone, and Tropical Zone, which I am not sure. So before we show off the Retro one, let's go to my favorite stage, which is Fargo Goes Skiing. Now, the controls are pretty much self-explanatory. So it goes croak, square is tongue, triangle does nothing, the shoulder buttons at the top do nothing, X is jump and you move around with the control pad. And damn. Great start, isn't it folks? I've already died. Now in the place that I'm not having any luck today. I was doing great on the uh trial run. Anyway, now the PS, the difference for the PS3 and the other versions is the fact that the PS3 version, we're going to be doing that one again, uh, PlayStation 3 version you only have three lives. Everywhere else, you get five. I don't know why the PlayStation 1 got screwed in that. Now, of course, there are the four games. Of course, you do have the two that we, that came out on the PSN store and the Xbox Arcade store. Um, I might review those one day, but for now, let's this game pretty much self-explanatory. If you never if you never played Fogger before or understand the controls, are you that much of a dummy? We. You gotta be careful going that way, man. <laughs> I just took the wrong time at Albuquerque. Can I at least get one fog? Nope. Now, some of the times, uh. We'll give you an easy one, and sometimes the hard. Um. Let's go to my next favorite one, which is the, no, not that. It is the machine level, believe it or not, but 
going switches. And then, of course, we'll show you the way. Pretty much, if you've played Fonga, you know what you're doing here, folks. I mean, it ain't that self-explanatory. Pretty much collect frogs. Now, if you get the gold frog, you unlock a new zone. As of course you see a little timer there at the bottom, you only have so long to get to a um, frog. Boom, more points for you boy, boy. Pretty much if you play frog, you know how this plays. So if you now, this is one of the few games I've been able to keep in my collection. I don't need to worry about finding it. So yeah, the controls are self-explanatory. Um, when I'm in a safer place, I'll do the... Stupid death. Silly me. I suck with aiming today, don't I, children? Yeah, so Frogger, really? Not much to talk about. It is what it is, children. Now, there is a multiplayer for this game, like I said, but uh, unfortunately... Alright, now we only have to get one more. Can I actually get all the frogs in this area? Which would be freaking awesome. We're gonna find out. Turn this one pretty damn perfectly if, I, if I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I screwed that up. Just call me Mr. Stupidity when it comes to this game, children. to the retro level. By the way, I think for you to advance into you had to get all the frogs, just to clarify that. But hey, let's go to the retro, man. Got ended on a high note. Now, Frogger for the PS1 is a fun game. If you loved it in the arcades, or if you loved it as children, you will love it again. So, definitely would recommend picking this up. Um, I don't know how much it is right now in the open market, just because of the fact of um, I have the, I've, I've had this game for so long, it's not even funny. So, I mean, you probably can give it to you relatively cheap. I mean, it shouldn't cost you that much. If it does, you be you're getting screwed. My friend. Can we end this review on a high note? Now, of course, the classic gamers will love this. Because it is Fogger. And, and if you've never played Fogger, you know, of course, I'm going to be honest, you should probably get the ones that are on the PSN or the 360 first, just because of the fact of probably easiness. And that is all the frogs here in this area. Time to go to level dose.
Now each time you go to a different part of the level, it does get a little bit harder and trickier. As you can see now, of course, we have the alligators to deal with. And of course, time will not be on your side either. Barely got that one, children. Still doing good. Can I get a new high school? Oh, wait, only got to deal with the green one and the purple one. I'm on a roll today. All right, can we get the green one? Come on, everybody, do you? Let's see if we can get, get the green one. By the way, yes, I'm addicted to this game. And all right, we're moving on to level three. Do boom, boom, ribbit. This time though, now you only got now you got thirty seconds. Now you got to deal with rattlesnakes on the logs, and you got to deal with a lot of. A lot of other crazy bullshit. The cars move a little bit faster. Look at that score at the top, man. 21,400 and well, it keeps going. Damn, I got ran over. It was bound to happen. I got greedy. Got hit, got killed by a snake. Is level 3 going to be the death of me? Yes, because apparently I missed. Super hop. And blue calls. And then... And that's it for Frog, guys. And Frog is a very fun game. It will take you back to the old days. D-O-U-G, where's the U? We Definitely reminds me of my childhood because I used to love playing Fargo as a kid. In the arcades, it was one of my favorite things to do. At the end of the day, Fargo is definitely a fun game. would definitely recommend playing it if you can find it. So Fargo, for the PlayStation 1. Gets a 4 out of 5. Would definitely remind of you of your childhood if you played it in the arcades as a kid in the 80s or if you played it during the 90s as a kid. Until next time, this is the DOUG signing off saying, Have a good night. Um, if you're watching this on Mother's Day, have a great Mother's Day and have a great week coming up. Woo!